Hey everyone, what is up? I am doing pretty good, but don't like that it's cold again and we have got snow this week where I live in Canada. So today I had lots of stuff to do, but thank God that this day is almost over this morning. I ever slept by one hour and a half, which was not good at all. I have been trying over three weeks to figuring out how much sleep I need, but the problem with homes and cottages, I sleep a little bit differently wherever I am. But here this place I think I finally figured out how much sleep I need which is 8 hours, which is one place down 3 more to go and caffeine does affect me I can see that now in screen time being on my phone late at night is the issue at hand too. So maybe not until this fall until I figure out how much sleep and how much coffee I do I need and when the cut off point is. So anyhow I am working on it and changing my life around. So anyhow so on to my video shall we. By the way tonight is the second episode of the 20th season of Grey's Anemone. The season premiere was really good last week. Wow the show has been on since October of 2003. This year the show was dailed until last week because of the writers strike that was last November so thoughts why. I will watch the second episode of season 20 right after I upload this video for you guys viewing pleasure. So let's start this video shall we and this week I will be talking about why wasn't there was a March keynote event from Apple yeah. but Apple announced some new products like. Karate Kid 3 which is the same as part 3 from 1989. The Karate Kid 4 is named the next Karate Kid from 1994. The Karate Kid 5 is named the Karate Kid from 2010. I, Apple released their brand new MacBook Air 13 inch and 15 inch models with their brand new M3 chip in them which is crazy. And you can buy the newest MacBook Air now. No offense but this product from Apple doesn't interest me I would rather have an iPad Pro over this in a heat beat because of the on screen keyboard. Keyboard which I really like not a physical keyboard mm -hmm. like this new MacBook Airs. Anyway, speaking about brand new iPads, guess what? By Tom Rowe, you can already pre order the new iPad Air and iPad Pro's model, model which apparently would be made with OLED screens instead of LED displays. Displays which I don't see a difference at all between a LED display, display, and a OLED display. Some people can tell, but I can't, which is fine. But I can tell with speakers but this video this week is not about speakers. Apple first introduced their brand new chip in their MacBook Pros which was released one week after Halloween thoughts why Apple did a October end event right on Halloween. Halloween which is pretty cool and it was a 43 minute event and it was called scary fast. So now Apple decided that they will be releasing MacBook Airs with their all new M3 chip, which M3 apparently crazy fast. Mm -hmm. 
The price points are the same as last gens were for their MacBook Airs, which is for the 13-inch MacBook Air. It cost before tax 1439 bucks, bucks, mm -hmm. which is not bad compared to most. And that model for $1450 comes with 256 gigabytes of SSD storage. The base model for the 15-inch mm -hmm. M3 MacBook Air starts at $300 more which is $1,739 bucks, bucks which is $1,750 before tax with 256 GB SSD storage with 8-core CPU U and 10-core GPU which is the processing speed of the device with 16 GB of RAM while the 13-inch model only has got 8 GB of RAM storage. This is two pictures of both the 13-inch model and the 15-inch MacBook Air. Truthfully, I don't know which are the differences between the MacBook Air and the Pro. As you can see, I don't do my research at all on this product. MacBooks and Macs are never my thing. I prefer iPad Pro over this product. Which leads me right into my next thing which are iPads. Now Apple will allow you all to pre-order them starting tomorrow, and they will be released next Friday March 28th. I am really ecstasy because I have always enjoyed the iPad models from Apple. I think that in my lifetime I believe that I have got four iPad models, models but I only kept my third and the fourth one but for one month I have got five iPads, iPads but turned out I hated it awful battery life guys don't not buy iPad Air 5 because my model sucked but mm. maybe it was just my model. Mm. I never owned iPad mini before because what's the point? My first iPad I ever gotten was this iPad 3 which back then was called the new iPad, which was the slogan for it. I don't know where is it but it's somewhere in my house but I found a picture of my first ever iPad, which was an iPad 3 aka the new iPad, iPad which nowadays Apple should change it to it being called the old iPad instead of new iPad because it's super old like let me look up on Google. Google how old this bad boy actually is my guess is 2015. And mine was black I remember wow boy, how times has changed from then to now now there's purple, pink, blue and yellowy pads and what not space gray to all kinds. Guys I was three years off. Apple released this iPad 3 on March 16th of 2012, so that means their 12th year university just literally passed a few days ago thoughts crazy 12 years already thoughts hard to believe that means iPad 3 is the oldest Apple device that I ever owned because my first iPhone was a 5S and it came out September of 2013 sometime. So wow that is wow can't believe it I thought this was my first Apple product of my life but iPad 3 crazy. I think I remember a long time ago it was able to turn on. But I locked it by mistake, mistake and I don't know, if this bad boy can be able to turn on I will charge this bad boy maybe if not tonight this weekend. I am curious to see which pictures and apps that I have got all on here. My second iPhone of my lifetime was iPhone 6 plus and it gotten to the point, point where it never was able to turn on ever connected to a charger because it turned out that somehow my battery and this thing became pregent, pregent and swollen in the body of the phone display from the body was a bit open. I was really lucky that it didn't catch on fire. I have seen phone batteries that caught on fire. 
I remembered that one of my family members up at the cottage had an iPhone 7 Plus and it was a super hot day during the summer time time and her phone was inside but she set her phone on top of a cabinet and her phone was acting really strange and weird weird and it was really warm almost to the point you couldn't hold the phone and she brought it to the apple store i can't remember the whole story story but her phone battery was this close to catching on fire I think her phone got up to like 48 degrees Celsius, which is really warm. Smartphones these days are made with Leon battery cells, and usually phones like to be kept between 32 and 95 degrees Fahrenheit, which in Celsius is between 0, 0 and 35 degrees Celsius, which as of 2016 all smartphones has got a feature where it tells when it get below 2 degrees Celsius, Celsius or more than 33 degrees Fahrenheit to actually shut the phone right off, and it gives you a screen telling you that your phone battery is too cold or too hot which is really cool. So Annie was back to talking about why Dean and Apple had an event like they normally do in March. By the way speaking about Apple's March event. Two years ago I did a video recapping all about March 2022 keynote event event and not only that I did a video on it but some reason it was my most viewed video ever of my YouTube career. Career and my five year university is coming up at the end of May which I haven't planned my videos. Videos that far ahead yet but it will be something really special maybe I will have some balloons in the background for that video video and that will be great and really awesome definitely looking forward to it special videos like that i need more than a day to plan it and for my year end videos to recapping off the year we all have had and i am starting planning my fifth year end video already which will be pretty big and long as they usually are I really enjoy recapping and ending off the year we all had. And this year end especially because I will be ending my sixth year and starting my sixth year in the beginning of June, which is a definitely wow. Wow and for me it's really hard to believe that wow don't worry the accessibility guy will be doing his video every week for as long as I am able to. I wonder if YouTube can be able to hold my videos that I made for more than 20 years, which means that YouTube needs a lot of storage space. This is a great two questions I am going to find it out now. My two questions are what's the oldest YouTube video on YouTube and what is the storage capriticity of YouTube? So I looked the questions up on Google and here are the answers. To answer my first question the very first YouTube video was called me at the zoo. Zoo and it is by this guy named maybe I shouldn't say his name because of safety these days he guess it's fine something told me it wasn't his name who made that me at the zoo video. By Jod Kareem you really have to watch what you say on YouTube these days it's crazy. So and he posted the video on April 23rd of 2005 it was a 19 second video it has made 312,163,015 views so far on YouTube. Wow thought's really cool to find that out wow so I guess that YouTube does indeed keep all of their videos. Wow some own he made only one video on his channel and it was called me at the zoo. Which leads me wondering if it's by accident or mistake but he gotten more than 300 million views for it. Tonight I should google his name just for fun. I am hoping that he is still alive. And my second question answer from Google is wow I just learned a brand new word. And this gives me an idea of my video name should be in the future sometime. 
We have all heard of million, billion, trillion and zillion, but you haven't heard at least I haven't before in my lifetime drum roll is the word is listen closely I don't know if my vocab would pronounce this word correctly but the word is exabyte which for one exabyte is one million trillions trillions which is I am going to poop in my plants <laughs> when I found out that brand new word I never knew numbers would go that a thoughts crazy for example you currently buy a smartphone with one terabyte in it which thoughts a computer my computer actually has got 982 gigabytes which is just shy of one terabyte I would be getting either one terabyte or two terabyte model, which will be about 2,500 bucks. I think the iPad Pro won't change for many years like 10, so I will go big or go home. I never ran out of space yet on this let's check recently I updated my iPad Pro to iOS 17.4 which it was on iOS 16.7 before that and it used 10.2 gigabytes of my storage space so and for all of my apps and my YouTube videos and photos and lots of downloads it looks I am almost out of storage space I currently have used 100 23.4 gigabytes out of 128 gigabytes gigabytes which is not good at all which means I only have got basically less than 5 gigabytes left while wow, thoughts thoughts why I need more storage space I am going to run out soon shit sorry poop I mean well this bad boy three years ago costed me 1100 bucks for this thing which now this year Apple charges 100 bucks more for the new iPad Pro Duck Duck. Well thoughts my video for tonight if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave me a like and comment and until next time thanks for watching. Watching and go Bruins go they are yeah. currently at the top of their lead good number one overall overall which is crazy with 97 points I am getting ecstasy for the Stanley Cup playoffs to start on April 19th round one starts I will make a hockey playoff bracket like I always do yeah.